evaluate this integral, we're going to split up the fraction as 3x over the square root 4 minus x squared plus 1 over the square root 4 minus x squared. Yes, and we're going to treat these integrals separately. Now the first one, because we have a 3x in the numerator and inside of the square root of the denominator we have 4 minus x squared, we have this relationship. 3x is kind of like the derivative of 4 minus x squared. Now it's off by a constant, but that's not a problem. So we can do substitution in the first integral, just let u be 4 minus x squared. Now the second integral, this one's a little bit trickier. You're going to have to recall derivatives of inverse trig functions. Um, so let's review that really quick. The derivative of the inverse sine function of x divided by some constant a, this was 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared. So now if we read this off but start with the right side then we have the integral of 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx is equal to the inverse sine function or arc sine of x divided by a. So this is a fact that we need to know in order to compute the second integral. And as we can see you apply this rule. Here a is equal to 2 since we have 4. That's got to be a squared. So a equals 2. So this is on the right side the inverse sine or arc sine of x over 2. Now we just have to do u substitution for the first integral. Again remember u equals 4 minus x squared is going to work. So then du is minus 2x dx. Okay, I, I want minus 2 there. So I'm going to pull out this 3. So I have 3. And then I really want to get a minus 2 next to that x. So I'm going to divide by minus 2 outside the integral. Inside it, I'll leave it with minus 2x dx over the square root of u. And I've arranged so that I have minus 2x dx in the numerator, and that's exactly du. Okay, And then I have my arc sine function. And now I have negative 3 halves the integral of, this is du, and I'm going to rewrite the square root as u to the minus 1 half power instead of writing 1 over the square root. Plus the inverse sine of x over 2. To anti-differentiate, I have to add 1 to the exponent, and that's going to give me u to the 1 half. And I multiply by the reciprocal, which is 1, or which is 2. So that's going to give me an, just a negative 3 coefficient plus the arc sine of x over 2. And now the final step is just to replace 4 minus x squared with that u. So my final answer becomes negative 3 times the square root of 4 minus x squared plus arc sine of x over 2 plus an arbitrary constant c.